Hi, I'm Brack. Yeah, it's me, Brack the War Boss here. And this, it's that time. It is a little late. This is the Morch Community Showcase. And it's all about rescues. And it's going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy doing it. I'm doing a slightly little different style. I'm back on OBS. Camera problems, so I will apologise about that. So, lots of experimentation being done here at uh, uh, the House of Brack, and I'm going to need a lot of coffee to get through it. And this coffee was brought to you by Gorka Marcos, which we are going to thank him for, and we're also going to thank um, K Riki and mostly Zen because those people have supported me throughout the last month, the month of March, or was it March? Because we're doing the showcase for March, aren't we? And it's all about rescues, and it's coming up pretty darn soon. Hey, now before we get into it and before I hand you over to the judge, just some quick stats. You know how much I like my stats, so here they are. So 20 entries today, or this month I should say, and I divided the entries up into rescuing fleshy bits and rescuing non-fleshy bits. Okay, so of the 20, we actually had split right down the middle, 10 of each. So that's pretty good. But who won? Well, let's hand it over to Young Poke. So at the end of March, Speed Wall April has begun. And with that, a challenge has ended. Last month we did rescues, which offered a broad range of different things. Anything from a grot to a bane blade, so as long as it was some sort of rescue. Uh, however, on the back end of the community, there's been some restructuring going on, and there was a really high chance we weren't gonna have a judge this month. Uh, and I didn't like that. I really like the community aspect of the 40K orc community. Um, it's a really important thing to me. I think it ties a lot of us together. It makes it feel like a an actual a whole rather than just like you know people doing their own things and like kind of ignoring each other it's not fun to me it's why i really like this community is we a lot of people collab and stuff and we have cool stuff going on so with that i decided to throw myself out of the competition this month with my little buggy here um to judge uh now luckily next month is speed freaks so or not speed freaks but speed wa well this is a buggy if that counts um so I'll be able to finish mine still. So I'm, that's not too bad. Uh, so I'm just going to start right away so that way Brat can get to his part of the video. Um, however, I will say judging this month was extremely difficult. There was a lot of amazing things that came out of this month. Um, it's just because just of the nature of the challenge. It was a very broad challenge. Like I said, somebody could have you know done a little grot all really cool it was an old one like they stripped and fixed and painted and converted and stuff that'd be cool or somebody could have built an entire i mean like a bane blade and then built on top of it and did whatever they want it that was the nature of the challenge there was a very broad range of it a lot of really good entries um now i was told that i can pick three but i've actually picked four because i do things my way um, so we'll just get right into it. So the first entry we have is by Da Hodge, and it's this little uh, diorama sort of thing. Now the reason I picked this as number four is because it, it it's a rescue and everything. Like I like how it's rescuing an old. Um, I think it's a is that it? the old Death Dread? I'm not really sure because it's before my time. But um, I, I just I like uh, it's a diorama, so it's very different. I don't think it's a game piece, but it probably could be. I don't know. Um, but I like the the background kind of ties into it. And, like, if you look at the window, it's like they painted the window so that way it looks like it goes all the way through. Um, the smoke is painted on the backdrop, I believe. 
Um, I just, I really like it. It's very simple, but it, it's done very well. Um, it just, it looks like he's pulling this old dread, uh, I, I think it's a death dread, out of like the muck for getting ready to be rescued. Um, it's just very fitting. I thought that was great. Uh, so good job, Dahaj. I hope I said your name right. If I say anybody's names wrong, uh, sorry, because I'm, I'm terrible. Uh, so we'll just get to the, the top three. So at number three, we have, or third place, at third place, we have Dreadwall Gamings. Um, I think also it's a, uh, he counts it as a Death Dread. Uh, it's some sort of troll um, from, I think, Age of Sigmar. I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't play any of the other games. I just play 40K, so I'm not really familiar with their ranges. However, he's really good. Um, I like his paint job a lot. The skin on it is very, like, it almost looks nerdily in a way. Um, we spend a lot of time on, you know, the paint job itself. There's weathering pigments. I like, uh, if you look, at, there's a lot of little details on it. He actually put in, so like, there's little rivets on, like, the helmet uh those are like details he put in like a lot of little tiny things and i really like that um it's just very detailed and fun uh so good bog good, good job dread um have fun so and then at num number two or second place we have the sun's storm boy unit now the reason i love this is because of the exploding storm boy uh, I'm sure somebody's done it before, but I've never seen it, and it's hilarious. I love it. I'm stealing this idea. Um, I've never even really been a fan of, like, those plumes that people do, like, like here. But I think they're done so well here with the paint job and, like, the one that's exploding. It's it's just perfect. I love it. Um, the paint job's really good. The exploding effect is really good, really funny, really fluffy, really uh, comedic. It's a good rescue because it's the old Storm Boys kit redone. Like, you wouldn't even notice. Like, these look better, honestly, than the new Storm Boys. It, it's a great little unit here. Um, but the, uh, the real star of the show for me with this little unit is the exploding one. It's just, it's good. Good job. And then in first place, we have Sydney's Mega Grot Tank. This thing is insane. Um, I have a lot to say about this. Um, so, first of all, uh, it's a rescue off of a Chimera, and I, I love that it's just built up off the Chimera. Um, it's like, uh, first of all, okay, let's just talk about the paint scheme. So the painting is like perfect. Like, it's a good mixture of color versus not color. Um, there's a lot of really good, like, grindy effects and stuff like that mixed in there too to add detail to the not colored stuff. But the way he's put out the colors is perfect. Like it's a perfect distribution that draws your eye all over the place, because you're just lo you're looking for all those colors and you're looking in between. Like that's how art is, and this is art. Um, I like that. There's all these little details, like uh, there's the little ladder and there's like all little pipes and stuff. So what this reminds me of actually uh, is one of my inspirations. So uh, like my inspiration for the July challenge was Howl's Moving Castle. This looks like Howl's Moving Castle. Um, and the reason being is that it, the, the way like Howl's Moving Castle or like the bathhouse from Spirited Away, they're like, there's sections that are all unique and then they're just put on top of each other and then tethered in together with pipes and, uh, different little fixtures and stuff. And that's exactly what I think Grotz love. Like if you can achieve that with Grotz, it looks great. And he did it here perfectly like the little staircase on the side it even reminds me of spirit away there's a scene in spirit away where she's running down the staircase that's exactly what it reminds me of it's great i love that it's all like back heavy so like if this thing went up a hill it would just tip over it's hilarious looking uh he's still got the boat aesthetic in it and there's like uh, the little bow of the boat there's just a million guns um the grots look like they're having a good time the one on the side looks like he's about to get ran over or something i don't uh, he, I don't think he's going to have a good time much longer. Um, but yes, uh, good job, man. It uh, definitely deserves first place, in my opinion. It's just, it ticks all the boxes for me, especially for a Grot conversion. Um, it, it's, it's just great. Good job, man. And with that, that's the end of this, uh, or not really this month anymore, because it's 
April now, but um, the end of March's uh, entries that we picked. So uh, I'll go ahead and let Brack get on with his video, and I will catch you guys later. Take care. Well, there you have it. Four winners this time, not three. Uh, these, these judges are always going to do things a little different, don't they? And, um, yeah, so what did you think of that? Um, I'm just going to go through it. I know it's a little pattern. But anyway, so the, the, the second runner-up, or fourth, was De Hodge. Then we had Dread as the runner-up, or third. And second, we had Distance Not Good. And then first was the Drunken Orc. Can you work out all of the the theme there? March More Rescue was brought to you by the letter D. <laughs> That's just an interesting little thing I thought I'd, I'd, I'd say. But let's not ramble on. Let's go and have a look at those entries again. And plus the others. Okay, let's start off with the Pale Orc. So an, another D1 here. It's all, it's all a bit weird, isn't it? And it's the Cold War Battle Commando. So, yes, it's an Orc, pretend to be a Tau. And I think the idea is that he wants to start his Orc Tau army so he can play Tau. That is the plan. And it sounds like a... Well, it's a plan. <laughs> Tau aren't playing all that well at the moment, so maybe it might not be a good thing, but but anyway, it doesn't really matter because what he has done to this Assault on Black Reach knob is just pure genius. It's a wonderful looking thing. It's, this is his typical sort of grimy lot of paint job that he does. Uh, it was surprised that he has painted an orc green wonders do happen that is just amazing and I am enjoying the effect here from the the smoke the, the smoke plumage so um, yeah look this is a great thing well done mr. pale okay here is Jude Asbury and uh, with his storm boy he's also known as the git man and as usual, so if you do see a little circle, uh, a logo in this corner, that means that there is a channel, a YouTube channel of course, and I've just completely lost it there, and all the links to those channels will be below in the description. So there you go. And well, he had an old, he had an old storm boy, and he spused it up. He's done a few more since then and look nice solid little paint job you can't sneeze at that this is some good solid work well done Jude or is that the git man okay here we are with the you got a second wasn't it distance no good well actually distant very good and look I loved I just love this effect. I wa have been watching Disson um, make these and build these. I sort of followed him while he was doing this, and it was just a joy to watch. And especially watching, trying to work out how to get this the um, this plumage, the the smoke and the fire effect. And yeah, look, fantastic stuff. Um, good to see some old school Metal Storm boys. And he's really done these justice. This is um, it's a well-deserved second place here for, for Disson. And here's Conus with his Bad Moon's boss. Another metal model. And so it's, it's an old school rescue. And yeah, look. Conus is known for his solid painting. And he doesn't disappoint yeah, does he? Uh, having a look, anything of note except um, the skull's quite nice. I do like the, I do like the, the metal that he's done effects on here. 
some great highlighting, the, the green's great, the yellow in the hair, and he said he's a bad moon's boss, but that doesn't look like a bad moon. Who knows? Anyway, we, we're not, I'm not going to question other people's artistic endeavours. Well, not that much anyway. The Drunken Orc. Now, here he is. He's the winner. It was Grotty McGrotface, is what he called it when I first created this thumbnail. Then he went and changed it. So I think it now it's now called the Bismarck. And wow, look at look at this thing. See, little chrome here. And just some amazing things. I not going to go into too much because I think the Poke sort of said everything that really needs to be said about this. But it's just a joy to behold. There is so much going on. So much story. I do like the fist here. And on the other side, maybe it was the star. The old Grot Rebellion star, although it is white. But I think he didn't want to be. But, yeah, call me red. So, anyway. Look at all those guns. And these grots, they're just having a good time. Especially this guy up here with the sword and he's got his commissioner's hat on, which he stole from this commissioner down the bottom who's not having a good time. Oh look, I could I could talk about this for, for ages, but let's just try and keep this uh, video a little bit shorter, hey? Full-time bad man. Now, now, I really, really enjoyed this. I rather. This is something completely different, and not something that I was expecting. So we've got a this is a spellcaster, an oryx spellcaster. He's turned it into a, a thing with more arms than you expect to see in an orc. But it's, it, it really is a thing of beauty. He's done some pretty amazing modelling work here. And so with a clever use of some green stuff or some, some modeling putty and and these tidying things with with the other the, the other bits and the extra armor here. Done a fantastic job. This is really, really good. I I love it. Colour's nice, the blending's great. Oh yeah. So it's Orog. The champion. Well done, full time bad man. Here is Desaria with their entry. Hello, we is Beakies. Ah, min space marines. And yes, so what happened here that this was a print job that didn't do too well? Uh, I think it was supposed to be earmarked for some chaos. But it didn't pan out, so Desario thought, well, hey, I can use this for my orcs. And they have. And it's a great use of purples. I like the white dags. I think the checker work is fantastic. And yeah, this is a this is a lovely hit bash. And um and Quite a comical piece too, so um, thanks for this one, Desaria. Here's you and R with his Orky Fant. Now I'm not quite sure what that kit is. It's probably just some other model tanky type thing, and he's just orked the heck out of it, which is what we like to see here at the uh, 40k orc community. There's a lot of that going on, and yeah, it's a this is a beautiful, beautiful looking piece. I would say Kill Tank. It looks like it's got it's those sort of dimensions. It, it's, it's big enough, it's bold enough, and it's orky enough. Not much you can you can't really argue with that, can you? <laughs> so here's the I, I do like the poor little grot. So that's from the um Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon, isn't it? Yeah, and there's a little... I love the spanner on this grot rigger. And it's fantastic work. This is a really nice job. 
Next in stuff, you want. El Diblito with his shock jump dragster. So that's what it looked like in the out there, and it's, it's all sort of cardboard and bits, and then he's painted, and it's a wondrous thing. There's, there's, there's things I recognise, and there's lots of things I don't. I have, don't, I don't I, those wheels, where those wheels come from? It must be a, like a no car toy, and this is just piping that they've that he's found. The blade at the front, that's 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 from the can from a can. And that's probably about the only thing that I recognise. Other than the hooks, of course, but yeah, that's uh Wow. Wow, this is um This is fantastic stuff. Gee, there's some great work done here today. Or well, this month I should say. Mostly Zen with his Grot Zoiborg. Which I, I do love this. I do love this model. It's it's a beautiful looking thing. So I'm not quite sure what it is. Is that an old school dread or something? I'm... If I don't know what it is, and you do, down in the description. No, not, not in the comments, not in the description. I write in the description. You write in the comments. That's just the way it is. That's how YouTube want it, and that's the way it's going to stay. <laughs> um, yeah, so... What is it? Let me know, because I'm sure there are other people other than me that don't know. And I should have asked, and I didn't. And I apologise. But what a wonderful paint job. This, the red is fantastic. There's a little pincher work. This, this rocket. Wow. You're going to blow some shit up with that, aren't you? And uh, so we've got a shooter, a new shooter from the can, and I'm not quite sure what that gun is from. Lots of things I don't know today, but that's alright. I can't be expected to know everything, and so I don't. <laughs> anyway, no, this is about me. This is about these fine models, and yeah, look, there's some great work here, and I've been saying that a lot today, so. If I say great work, take a shot. It might be fun at the end. You never know. <laughs> Alright, what do we have next? Ooh, Essex with the uh, Black Death, the Goth Bone Breaker. And this is just it. Yeah. He put in a lot of photos and I wasn't quite sure which ones to put in. It was just really hard to select, so I made the boat. Here's just so you can see the how big this thing is, and in the top corner, in the bottom corner, there's a blue beaky not having a good time. But yeah, you might see that. And there's old Mac Mel looking over his his work. Isn't that great? And then I showed this to sort of look at all of the sort of detail. There's so much work that Essex puts into this, and you can see. So we've got little bits of wiring. We've got some old weather checkering. He puts rust details and grime and grot and rivets and there is so much work going on here. And he knocks it over in a month. So I have no idea how he does it, how he can do it so fast, but I'm very glad that he does. Marcos with his looted land raider. And that's a that's a big ass cannon, isn't it? And there's a little tie around the front. And is that skull uh, from the old the old um, metal gas gold? Lots of bits and pieces from various um, walk bits, nice glyphs. I do like the uh, the black and white going across where they've got the checkers along here, and then on the the glyph at the front. And I do enjoy the three big shooters, uh, the, the boys with the big shooters at the front there. It looks 
like a formidable beast. This is um, this is some great, great work. Have another drink. Colonel Corpse Grinder with his looted land speeder storm. I think that's what they're called. And um, I've liked this idea so much. I've borrowed it for the Speedwire Challenge for the next month, and you can you'll have to wait to see those. And yeah, this is this is fantastic. This is great. Oh, look! Knock this off, quick, smart. It's looking good. It's nice and black. These orcs are just having a great time. Oh, this this this. Little Gretchen firing this this gun with this like, very large bullet. Is it a bullet or a rocket? Does, does it really matter? Rockets underneath. More rockets underneath. More dacker than you can poke a stick at. And it's just with the way we like it here. So, yeah. Colonel Corpse Grinder. Excellent stuff. Scott McNair. Now, I wasn't quite sure what this 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 was, so I didn't give it a name. It's a mechy type thing, and I have no idea what that is. Um, so this is some of the art before shots, and this is what he's done afterwards. Look, please forgive me. I have no idea what what it is. I didn't get any extra. Um, extra notes so I'm just running on it but it doesn't matter what you call it it's a this is a nice model it's fantastic now he's obviously a it's it's it's, a, it's half mech half dread lots of guns lots of lots of guns and the blue's quite nice too okay a, another Scott here Scott O with his Betsy Goth, and yes, a, another metal orc. They've been a lot of people are loving these really old metal minis, and why not? They're they're, they're great, and so Scott has has turned him into a little goth, and wow. But, uh, so a knob with a wire banner? He looks like an old dog. Or is it a boss? But anyway, it's, it, it doesn't really matter all that much because he's just done a fantastic job. <laughs> the uh, the two squeak hair squeaks you know, I find quite amusing. And he's got you know, nice little pigtails there. I'm sure he feels fine and dandy. <laughs> and that claw, yeah, that's a, that's an amazing claw. I, I, I've got this model downstairs, and it is a wondrous thing. And that claw is fantastic. And he's obviously decided to get rid of that boss and put and put some guns in there. So he's uh, WYSIWYG, play him on the field. Nice little wire banner there. So great stuff, Scott. Okay, the Hodge with a rescue truck rescuing a dread. Yes, that is that is um, is a dread or it's can or an old school. Anyway, he's been rescuing. And he, this guy came, he got the fourth place, didn't he? As, and there is some really, really good work, work done here. Uh, and I do love the diorama. It tells a wonderful story. It's honouring, it's doing, it's rescuing, it's honouring the theme rescue by showing us a theme about rescues. My head is exploded. Maybe it's time for some more coffee. But look, oh, there's just some fantastic work here by the, the Hodge. This is um, well done, mate. Well done, Mr. Gotti, with his 
Mucha Spore and his boys. Now, he did give me a lot of photos of all these done individually, and I thought it'd be easy to do one big shot. So that's what you're getting. And so he's obviously had some old boys there on the sitting on the bench there for a while. And he's I do believe this is for his kill team. Um, so what have we got? We've got a couple of tank busters. We've got knobs at the back, a storm boy that looks like a mech, and a few slugger boys, and that would be his kill team. This is a uh, yeah. I do like it. It's a well. It's it's it's, it's all the elements brought in together quite nicely. So um, thank you for that, Mr. Cody. Ike with his Edward Littleclaw. And uh, yeah, look, he's in. He had a, he had an old an old knobby and he's done some things to it uh, and it's some some wondrous things to it i love the blue on the on the squig and uh yeah this is uh this is a nice solid solid piece and uh from ike and uh yeah well done well done ike with edward little claw he's got a little head and a little claw and i do love that bone sort of the extra the the, the protection the scar the, the he's not using metal for his armor he's got bones and that's uh yeah lovely stuff dread war gaming so the third place here with his i call the grot on steroids or steroids should have been steroids, but you know, there's all right. Uh, I was just being a bit silly, wasn't I? And yeah, he's apparently it counts as a death dread, and it's a it's an old troll. But I, I thought the face looked very Gretchen like, so I just imagined what would happen if they just gave him someone had been just drew drugs or something steroids which i'm calling steroids anyway and uh yeah look well done well done here yeah i think pokes right it's a bit nurgle looks a bit nurgly there's some great grime and, and there's there's a lot of detail here there's a lot of detail and um whatever it is whether it's a troll or a grot he he obviously does a lot of squats doesn't he and that's probably all I can say here. And Orc Stuff Bad Fang with his Rhino Truck. And yeah, look at this. Great, great stuff. Really, really good stuff. And um, he's had an old Rhino and he's turned into a truck. It's a bit like the pineapple. Yeah, no, we won't go into that, will we? So, old school truck from an old school rhino, and I, I look, I like these. I, I love the tracks here, and the wire work. It's uh, it's red. This is quite interesting. It, it's um, getting the the engine in. A bit more work here. Uh, the evil sons that work on on this. This free head here is fantastic. So not only you've got the evil sun's um, face, you've got some really good checker work and some flames. And there's some top-notch freehand here. Uh, yeah, well done with this with this rhino truck. Hey, look, yeah, somehow I I, I forgot this one. I forgot to download it. I, I honestly thought I had, but it hadn't showed up. So here is Bean Bitch. So, um... I do apologise to you, Bean, if you were just wondering where it was. Well, here it is. You're the last person, which also means that my stats are out. Because this is another non-fleshy thing, isn't it? 
Now, unfortunately, I couldn't. I looked around to see whether you called this something, whatever you gave it a name, been, but you didn't. Well, I couldn't see it, so I'm calling it a Gaslands thingy because it does look something like something that you would see in Gaslands. And let's just say there's Gaslands can be orky. Why not? Why not? So it's here. And it was a very old rundown car. Sounds looks it looks a bit like the cars that I used to have when I was a little boy because I didn't treat them well and I'd leave them out in the in the Queensland rain and they'd end up looking a bit like that. And uh I wish I had some talent like Bean, then I could actually turn into something like this. Because this is great. All black. Massive wheels. Lots of spiky bits. Interesting looking guns. Ready to go out and do some damage. I really think I should look into Gaslands one day. I really should look at that. Hey, okay, well, there you have it. All 21 entries for the Morch Rescue Challenge and what do you think? There's some oh look at the quality of the work it was fantastic this community really does it just amazes me some of the, the, the quality of the work that comes out of this and as Poke said before it's a great community if you don't know about it there'll be links to the Facebook page and the discord for you to join get in get in ready for this month's challenge which is a speed wire. so there's going to be buggies and bikes and things like that just go and check out the, the community the discord community page and we'll sort it out that'd be fantastic now any you like, any you didn't like, put the comments in below. Let's have a conversation. It'll be fun and dandy. Now, if you would like to support me in my, these video making efforts, then please, by all means, buy me a coffee or you can support me on Patreon. Those links will be below in the description as well. Okay, time to leave you with one more nugget of information, and that is if you're going cramping, Remember to bash early and bash often.